Absolute Emerson, classics. Same thing that they did yesterday. See, I really like, I really like Paper X Comp, but Genji have now at least seen the demo. Off, right? and, uh, while Mon so you would expect them to be pretty prepped, especially uh, a lot of the fast strats. You would have hopes. Team, I mean, this again, is this is straight really up going to be a good test of Munchkin as an IGL and the coaching stuff. Because a lot of what they should have looked at is like, first of all, what indicates what kind of strat second off when they do that strat where should you be playing um, and then i'm interested to see i mean i'm just kind of interested the first two maps have been wild interesting basically because we saw them yesterday to close out the pacific kickoffs taking us through the action is achilles and william Thank you very much. Yes, here we are. Another mm -hmm. grand final, but this time a very different face on the other side of the arena. Paper X punching a ticket, as expected by a lot of us, to get to this point, to go to Madrid. But it's not DRX on the other side of the arena. It is a different Korean squad, Gen G, the young up-and-coming challengers, to see if they can take away the throne. Yeah, exactly. Of course, not entirely unfamiliar faces, right? We've got yeah, I think, Solo and I think the same as that, Luigi. But I also but feel like that's kind of what a uh, split looked like anyway yesterday. The but they're going to need to grow into it. They say, no, we want to get all the experience we can in kickoff and go right into Madrid with a strong force. And today, I mean, last time they matched up in Group C, it was a 2-1 map score, so it could yeah. go either way. Right. It very well yeah. could. I'm talking mic. about getting experience. Genji have been getting yes. the maximum amount of experience. <laughs> no, I so... Yeah. Matches to get to this point. It's the only agent we haven't seen so far, punch, right? If we include all the regions. As champions, they want to come back into stage one with higher expectations with the trophy on their backs. Let's Gen G on the defense, Paper X on attack. With a map win here on ascent. And of course, the deaths touch upon it, but the compositions, no changes here from what they last showed. Paper X having their own interpretation around this Viper composition. And they have used it quite a bit to great success against T1. So we'll see if Gen G has studied all the tape. Another difference, of course, Paper X, when they went up against yeah. C1. It these mollies already make a lot of sense to uh, straight up A hit as well. Want to be able to stop he was kind of getting the A hit. A lot on the I wonder if that's going to be common for this. But I do worked. think... This time, a little bit more familiarity. I mean, honestly, with, with this wall, now on the it does make site. sense. Looking to just delay that, looking for a retake for Gen G on A. <sighs> all right, well, something starting things off hot. Ghost in hand. Tech just is so much trouble. I hit it great. Can you get the one on one? Damn. Meteor, the classic, out oh, sorry, it's Meteor, Eva. That, 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 was, that was pretty impressive. They actually managed to get one kill there. It's, it's still done a little bit of damage to these shock dots. Ever so familiar. Hey, Savage. Position. Couple of low HPs. No um, Meteor honestly did great to manage to stay alive here. And they just fast hit. And I'm pretty sure they fast hit A last round, but this time they just went straight up short. That shot was the nicest. I mean, you know it's the jet peeking out, then you catch sight of the kill joint. You just want to run through and make sure you destroy everything before backup arrives. So it's a matter of Gen G just maybe not expecting the entire force to follow at full tempo speed. Okay, we flash over the top, the up and then um, we have Insta TP. Can we get anything with the frenzy? <laughs> Monyet is already swinging. They are way too confident. They swing the corner instantly, and he is taken down. Yeah, we got to keep in mind that this screen right now is really can't so even can't even get a normal so flash TP. Trying to wonder if that was the case. No, it's a fast push into A. The prowler in, lock it gone. Texture having to dash back and trying to get some attention. Man, oh, this oh, is the oh, W gaming. Is Look at them. That money yet picks up a 3K. Looking now for potentially the four as Meteor goes down to 15 oh. HP. Jump shot to get him in the head. <laughs> a 4K for Monyet. Yeah, Monyet kind of close to his ult. Something kind of close to his ult. Yes, I mean, we saw it in the win contribution graph as well. Monyet not really being a big part of the Forsaken drops his gun and he picks up an Odin. Wait, did he, did he actually have a gun? He did, right? Just create that space, create those angles, create those trades for his teammates. And no better teammates to have for that other than this squad on paper X. Well. Course, so Odin is out for that follow up kill, and now the Forsaken Odin right from round three. To engage. Weapons hot. Lucky as well. Replay, yeah, I felt like the replay to machine died midway through. Gonna be able to come out on top of yeah, I thought he had a Spectre as well. Each other over there towards B. Oh, oh, the nade goes behind, so has to force him out into the open. Oh, 
one yet. Just gonna be sitting on the. I am watching some of the gecko stuff, thinking not too bad. I think it is definitely not too bad on this. You have to completely change your comp. It's not like it slots in for anything. But I mean, Paper X, they've already accomplished their mission here in the very beginning of the round. Disrupt a main control that keeps them guessing on the A side. And now you shift your focus. Lockia doing the scouting. Meteor doing the killing. Good opening kill to be found here for the side of Genji as they look to get themselves on the board in this bonus round. Lock running down below a minute now. Seems, seems like ultimately Paper X do want to end up over here on this B site. Alarm bot giving that early warning here. Yeah, but without the full five, slow down just a bit trying to set up for the Yeah, Prowler and Wingman sending it out. One checks Lock one, the other checks fight. the other. Another kill here on the B side. What the? Well. Oh, okay. I was going to say Hallow. Oh. He manages to find a second elimination, spike down. Can be do what damage he can do. Does he want to? I mean, there is. He's clutched. Tap on the spike. He has a nade. There's an Odin back of sight. Yeah, he's more focused on taking down the spike. Ah, that's weapons, unlucky that the spike. they actually swung out just as he left that angle. Yeah. And I see them from Gen G. Paybrox will be kind of happy with the damage done. I have no idea what Forsaken's going to play. Those rounds where it doesn't feel so bad for either side. Lockia playing heroics there with the Odin, just making sure that Paybrox can't play their classic W gaming style. Meteor with good coverage too, all the way from backside or rather towards their spawn. They got both the ults online. I thought they just got Razor online. Even picking up the kill onto something. Not quite sure what happened there. But this is, I mean, all the way through the paranoia as well, just knowing that you have the crossfire ready to go. Keeping things nice and calm for the time being, but we saw yesterday. Wait, are they going for the. Gen G can get on that stage. Going for a flash dash play with a recon behind? Or are we just running? Spiking up. Okay, we're just running. Yes. Wait, he might actually. Yeah, and, and he has the spike. They, try, they want to go for a faster um, bit of short pressure, but they just use the fish to kind of scout over towards anywhere close A. That was nice. Into the smoke. Recon behind. No one to shoot the recon because he's on his own. They're trying to create fake pressure as they walk up short. When you have that updraft, you can really fake him out. Still double stacking in this position and texture. Yep. Then he wasn't on the board. Now finds himself with two kills. That was pretty much the uh, best possible strat that Genji could have done. Nicely done. Lovely one way on top of that as well. That was a good. That was a good run from them. Again, they actually called the the best strat that they possibly could have. They get both the ults out of them, but it is just the classic. There's two ults that they can use. They can like be used on an exec. Let's let's go aggro on them. Let's do something. Try to take some map control. Maybe get some kills before they can exec whatever perfect idea they have. This guy is a lunatic, man. He's gonna be so fun to watch. Still an investment coming in though for Paper X. Stingers, and this does put a couple of the players quite low on cash. Yeah, it's funny to see uh, Paper X is stealing, stealing the um, T1 out, smoke. Not entirely sure who did it first. We just saw T1 first. That's your point. Going to be very nicely timed to find pretty much everybody on the side of Paper X. Three players going to be caught on that as they try to push their way oh. through. But through the smoke, Munchkin is going to be able to find Forsaken. Not forced off the angle fast enough by the Molly. Now spotted here at back gen. Nade coming out. Flash is being said. Monyet going on the hunt, but doesn't want to push into his own nade too much. Picture swinging out. Finding one. Dashes forward. Catches Monyet over a gen. And now it's all onto something. He just won't stop. I mean, he just knows that He's meant to be the one picking up all these frags. Munchkin Dexter just kind of cleaned this one up, ball. and it was and looking. Okay, Dexter does clean this one up. It was looking a little up. bit not together. What an unreal Nade stopped up. him from swinging. His a teammate then Omen flashed him. I'll be there. I, now he is. I, three to two. Wow. Gen G in the lead, and it looks like already a timeout call getting ready. Yeah, it's an early timeout. I mean, it is three in a row. We just had, but Munch can just spray through the smoke. I love that because we're seeing this change where teams are trying to get as close as possible into these sites before they start their actual execute. So really denying that possibility. Uh, after the first one, he's like, oh yeah, this feels common enough. <laughs> just calm down on the 4K. And there we go. Paper X, Alex wanting to try to slow this down a little bit maybe slow the momentum from texture as well yeah uh, i mean you have to consider the impact that timeouts can have outside of the server as well sometimes just one player is heating up too much we've seen 
Coaches talk about it time and time again. Alex has showcased it time and time again, even in this tournament, back at the AVL as well, when Sai player was just popping off on that Sunset map, just calls the back-to-back -back timeouts, really slows down the tempo. Now, Gen G, they've been on the receiving end of this against multiple teams even throughout this kickoff, and given the energy they showed on stage, I don't know if it's gonna be enough to cool off the primary duelist in texture. I mean, he's just been so consistent. I mean, maybe a handful of times those first couple matches okay. that we were seeing from Gen G where when it did go to that map three, he and Meteor would let's, slouch let's a little get into bit, this one. A little bit of a timeout. Kind of Big buy. Compensate for that impact. But I mean, after yesterday, it was just now, change of the wool. Yeah, the fact that they even feel comfortable enough to kind of tell each other that, right? It's just saying, I'm having a tough time this map. Uh, someone please carry us through, and then I'll get right back into it in the next half. Comms like that, you love yeah, to hear the from to a try team and that has so much trouble finding the right ingredients around themselves as players. Okay, well, Forsaken. Bringing that right I guess the ball came down for that. Oh, they found out the Odin's there. Would have been nice to have a guy shot that so they didn't realize the Odin was there. Lurking around outside of B main, just tucked away. Into the drone, drone. I don't think this goes through the smoke. And this has to be, oh, they don't spot Meteor. This is huge, because the pinch might get slowed down. Oh, Find the kill join. Up, but you have got enough damage amount of times we've seen kills on short just spamming through the smokes. Gonna be able to find two. And after a good start and finding texture, getting rid of the tip of the spear right off the rip, and suddenly down to Mind Freak and Dubai. We were working some miracles yesterday, and they deliver some more. Help. The answer is going to be no. Dubai just stuck out here outside of A main. And this is the trouble that Paper Rex is going to have throughout yeah, this match. Nice done. Yeah, basically, as soon as there's some, the soon there's some kind of vision block, it just feels she like they just know they're hearing the weird, just straight up spamming. It's mean, quite early on, and honestly, they are just getting like a lot of. But Gen All the kills from it, maybe no Paper X. Uh, I say maybe so Paper, Paper X want to slow it down, but it's Paper X. This is a great Omen flash on top of this. They're going to get craft here. They're going to have the aim to fire back. I mean, Meteor hiding from that problem was everything. <laughs> uh, just kind of bigging up each other on that team. I mean, some wondered, including myself, if the players would kind of get along even, given the history they have and the egos they might have from the pride that they've built up throughout their careers but they are getting along just against fine. the nico i mean there's no turret to hold the this angle so you can oh, just kind of get this angle for free and i think texture knows that this guy didn't peek oh, wide free. enough to get info still does get tagged down to 25 hp gonna rotate back around towards gelato joining with the rest of the yeah he did the good there We'll Hit the second shot through the wall. Realized with the fast little bar. jiggle that nothing was yeah, actually seen. Oman um, Flash goes in, smoke goes out, Raze. Yeah, dude, Raze is just on his own. And we have three people flooding over towards here. And this is just nice from Gen G. They get early information over towards middle. They see one person jump peak. And a lot of time when it's a lot of time when they watched them before. They did just full one default. He's had some amazing clutches yesterday, but with 25 HP and so, a guardian, you have to good amount of good amount of studying and prep coming from Genji Gen already. There's nothing stopping him from going on the hunt, especially for Lockia. I mean, toss that Odin to someone else. Paper are just way too fast, like round. way too fast. They got it. They could have still taken a little bit of control, etc. They need to like default. This is this is way too easy at the moment for Genji. It's impressive how many moments like this that Karen has in his very first BCT tournament. Yeah, he played one event in the offseason at Convergence, but even there, it you know, took a little bit to warm up. Yeah, he had some individual moments, but it was a very short-lived event for the squad of Gen G. And head coach Sol talks about it, how he thinks, yeah, all these maps that they had to play <laughs> really benefited someone like Karen, and he is fitting right Another in time onto the out. stage. He's been starving for an Go opportunity for them. like this. Oh, he's taking advantage of it fully. So many 3K highlights throughout kickoff. Oh. They're like a tech, otherwise they would have gone through the camera ignore. shots. Just trying to imagine that it's not actually here. It worked before. Indy has been sweet. nice. Yeah, it has been nice. <laughs> I mean, even Paper Rex might be in the game, but this isn't like a like a T Rex where we can just can sit down. still and ignore it, and the the, the, the <laughs> pause ends up going away. So you think T1 would have been Genji? Honestly, not sure. I should have been pretty sure, close. Sure it would be no, like map dependent, to yeah, be honest yeah. with you. Been, we've been like T1 will probably win Breeze, Lotus, so and then right I feel like Genji would 
listen, things like this happen. I want to say Genji would win a cent, but the, he wins a cent wasn't, the side of Gen G, wasn't right? too bad I mean, at all. It, sure. No matter what the reason is, it would have been, it happens now and would have been it's part of a pretty much map dependent in my opinion. Gen G, it's about keeping that energy up, and for Paper X, it's about not letting the thoughts get to your head. Because obviously you can't discuss any of the actual gameplay here during this. What happens if both teams call boss. a timeout? You just get a two minute timeout. Oh, they, just, like audio issue. they just stack them. How many calories right. am I eating? Bro, I don't See, count calories. I have no idea. I just eat when I'm hungry. Talk about the match so far, though. Five and two lead on a comeback from Gen G after losing the pistol round. So, so far, this is one of those maps that's looking like you yeah, got the pistol, but what more did you make up? Yeah, they get right? three champions the points. That you're supposed to get if you win the pistol. Obviously, the pistol won off the back of some nice shots and really fast tempo, as Paper X often does. But then, once the buys came in from Gen G, they just fire right back. Yeah, it's just incredibly impressive. But again, I mean, for Texture to just kind of start things off, not yeah. really be present in those first couple rounds, and then just slingshot his way to the top. Our points of worth it. Karen as well was right there with him. Uh, I would, I would say it's game, it's up it's for it's up for discussion. It's it's obviously I think it's more beneficial for Paper X. Like, it, it, let's use I think Fnatic and Paper X are probably the best examples, but they're most likely going to come top three in their region anyway. But it's like, do they really care about the points? Genji, we imagine they're more of like the middle of the pack, so those points are massive to them. Whereas Paper X, you would imagine they're gonna. Guy, in stage one and I mean, one and two, the names, they were going to be in the top three. The, and, unless something insane happens, they're going to be in the top team. three. I mean, sure, so, kind of what it came down to, like, who wants paper. it more. I felt like maybe all of them had when, when I look chances, at Americas, that, that really matters. It's it. really up for grabs in terms of, uh, there's no Correct. standout, like, team. Really. You could definitely say loud, but I think that they'll have some close games. Ooh, goes for the flick. Can't quite get the connection though. This time, Mind Freak getting away on NRG. Oh, yeah, yeah that's true. Like there we go. That really there's, there's kind of two of them. Puts a damper on Paper Rex. They're going right? to look to really flush him out of this position. Are they ready for the Hooded backup though? The Prowler comes out. Prowler coming in. And yep, lock you. And I think it's too early to say that NRG are just like heavy favorites. Otherwise, will still be standing. Haunt going up in towards the window. Even though they probably will. Man, imagine he gets out of there. Dude, this guy is saving them. And he got out of it. Texture actually just watching these guys run by. Didn't manage to get a kill. There's the thing that I like about this team. They, they do just... Everyone takes turns. Everyone's got the hero potential in them. Big 1v2. Comes from B main, but it doesn't really help him. Like, he's here pretty fast. Like would, if anyone was close, it would probably get him a kill, but... Knife goes in. Going out to interrupt, and it does. Close. Just in time as yeah, just. Well. It and before the dive can come in. Flash. Sent. Look at this out. bug, man. What's happened with the fish or just a floating gun? Yep. Trying to the Oh, almost. Okay, this is one of those rounds that is very important for Paper X. They win a round, one person, 1,900 if they lose, and everyone has to rebuy apart from one. So, this eight ults. How much HP does the Gecko have? It's 175, right? I think off the top of my head. There's a chance it's 200, but I think it's 175. 200? It might be 200. It's one of it's, it's one of the other. Oh man, that, is, that was a nice nice way of doing it. Yeah, this was cool. Liquid Brazil strat, they bring it out. And again, this kind of when they have ults, they just go aggro. Paper Rex they've been lurking so much this entire tournament on any map they're on. He's just spotted. Shoulder to shoulder basically with Munchkin. He was 200. Just yeah. top mid. Mind Freak slides his way in towards Street. They are very well might think that this is protected. The TP yeah. Lakia, the and you see what, you see what, uh, this is nice from Lakia. And this, this right here, 
Just literally just this round on its own, it gives me so much faith in the coaching stuff. We've seen a good amount of things in terms of lots of ults, let's make sure they can't ex exec us, so they're going aggro, we've seen that twice. We then see the fact that they have no Sova, and they've used the right side of A. This pause here is really strong, but normally you can't play here because of Sovas, right? Normally there's a recon on site, you'll either have to shoot the recon, or you're going to get scanned out. So, this gives me, this gives me hope for this team. You know, on that they're like kind of they're playing to uh to use both in the they're first playing half. a lot of spots that yeah they went on to win the map but it's like what i said right they're looking at the comp they're looking at what they saw and they're like close. damn this this pause this is... should work pretty well a very bold attempt here from the side of Alex, but he's just not they, liking they, what he's Fade can clear there, but they're using Fade to get design. A control and early. The style of timeout from Alex. It's like really part of their, uh, it's part of their default at the moment. He calls for it, and you can see he's not stopping, he's not missing a beat here. And oftentimes it brings results. Is it always going to be the safest and wisest way to call timeouts? Maybe not. But if it works for your players, and if you have trust that in a best of series, that's going to be a long haul, that you want to correct things as soon as they go wrong. Dude, I'm telling you, they got to play slower. The real question is, is it's so it's so obvious at the moment. They got to play slower, well, and then any time they have ults, they got to hold a default. And that is, I mean, I've seen Paper X do that so stuff before, but it always comes after a timeout from Alex. Like it. It's not like it starts off like that ever. The hands of Sheriffs off nice the deal. board aside from something. Otherwise, it does have that classic, which was putting in some serious work yesterday. Prowler, check forward, lock, yeah. Oh, well. Get caught by this one. Big man's going to be cleared out. Down to the corner. Dubai, Look right at right the recon. Bro doesn't even need to... Oh! Taken out, the headshot's flying. Lovely cleanup. Still 1v2, but... You can say, bro doesn't even want to zoom in with the, uh... He has the spike in hand. Odin? Where does he decide to go? For now, just saying, sat here in market. Next year, swung around to Alley. And he tries to push out. He's going to be giving them line of sight. Yeah, he has Karen? The the yeah, he bails them out so of a lot of rounds. Playing for this mind game to try to get them to search for him first. I like it. And, waiting for the and it looks like he might get timing on this. Line, Sick around. round. 10 and 4 yeah, or so. Will find him a 3K. It's Gen G moving up 7 to 3. Great effort. You know, still here from the side of Paper X, considering the buy that they 12 had. 12 and 5. Sorry, 11 and 4 after close. that kill. The problem is, okay, so oh, absolutely. it's I mean, probably too obvious now if Gen G go aggro. But do, do Paper, do, do, do paper X at least hold for a default a little bit? But, let me just check. Uh, Mo one thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Gift and texture in. Thank you for the gift. Looks like they're just going to absolutely send it fast. Three people here. Do we save the knife? No, we use the knife early. Munchkin uses his all. Hey, really? Yeah, they are. They're on him. I like this reaction from Genji. Insta push over towards middle. Viper all from Mind Freak. Probably getting close to spawn to use it. Yeah. That's actually just a cut and off it comes down to the B main jewels. They're not going anywhere near it right now. This is good news. Taking turns from it. Managing to find one. Munchkin picking up the kill. Mon yet. Lurking. Finding one. Putting some shots there into Karan. Looks like he wants to go for the challenge. He wins it. It's open. Takes him down. We have a recon to try to scan these people out. The recon Anna Noden. Karan falls. I'm freaking to find in the spray coming in, but. Those trace rounds just lead mine to his target. Locky goes down. Paper X looking to rescue this Last half. A potential seven half. five. Yeah, a little bit of an unfortunate round there for Gen G because they uh, got their chain fail as well. well with the prime. Like Thank you so much, mate. To empty the site for a potential nightfall. Texture just thinking he oh. could get away with a greedy kill Why and dash out into market. Or she gets taken down and that's an instant trade all the way onto meteor and the plan falls apart. But if they can get back up to eight, they should be okay for the second half. Thrash online now, though. See if Gen G's ready for it this time. Well, last time it was used, we just didn't see much value coming through. Something getting caught. And then rush play outside of A. Time, though, again, eyes set That was close to getting a lot. Lockia, no Odin. <laughs> His timing on these is good. In, recon, does get yeah, someone's actually shooting on this one. Lovely bit of U2. I mean, look at this hit. 
does just get around the corner both of these KO flash maybe coming in there's so many people on site yeah and here come the team here come the boys do they flood man something kills the whole of they three person try and flood into the site and something is just waiting ready trusting in his team to deal with the guys back at site something did so good on this this site here looked nice as well to be fair on a lot of time. Yeah, and yet, as the backup arrives, it's Paper X who are able to actually just flood the site and then hold all the trade angles. Ivan attack? Yeah, you'll take it. So Paper X, when chaos uh, it's, comes, they it's not know good. How to it's not good when you think they, they had pistol. Really like you'd expect to have in those more than that, but it's still, uh, now, suddenly, still a five, seven, half. absolutely this is fine score. Gen G thought they'd have going into the second half. Of course, getting five in a row, starting with their first buy round. They still do have that advantage of having both timeouts in the back pocket. Sure. But we know how difficult it can be to stop Paper X if they start stringing together those rounds, if they start getting streaky. And even the timeouts might not be enough to really try to slow their roll. Gen G going to be looking to come out here with that pistol. Tie up that score line and get that much closer to closing out this first map. Yeah, and something Gen G will excited for 24 maps today. Yeah, it's it's a mad day. That Paper X has planned with this composition. I mean, so many projectiles, so many different volleys. We really went for like the polar around. opposite today. That, of just screen, oh, what you had five months of no games. Really How about a lot of every region, region going to be. So non-stop, all at the same time. Round. 24 maps. And I'm just got a wall cutting off mid. Little bit. <laughs> it's crazy. They don't uh, catwalk no. as well as be main. Doesn't really make sense. Yeah, just trying to really funnel them in to the A site, really, if things go their way for the side of Paper X. And if it is a B hit, still a lot of options to delay, even without something like the Killjoy, just with the fact that you have to go through Toxic Screen two, three times. Oh, there's, there's no sense in it, Canoop. <laughs> like, honestly, there's no sense in it. Sent out, texture pushing down. It did give me a lot of sleep for today, though, Spotted so that so kind of worked out all right. Alright, Paper X won the first pistol. Is he getting ready to come through? And throw should have seen for a second as well. Texture, he's gonna come upon. Yes, the flashes are in. Texture gonna be able to find two. Yeah, makes up for the first pistol. Couple low HPs here. We have the Sova Lark, but he's drone here, so I'm pretty sure they know that he's there. I mean, they literally spot him now. Killjoy comes and joins him. I don't believe he's been spotted. No, they still have the numbers advantage in the site as well, so they're just trying to buy enough time, but Mind Freak. Great check for Forsaken as well, off screen, getting the shots. And they might just flood fast down. because they know that Sova's probably late. The Dizzy up over the top, does manage to get the flash out. Yeah. No one's advantage. Up swing around the back, Munchkin actually able to steady the aim, finds a headshot there on a Forsaken, and now something with everything to do. He's been spotted, shocked out, a little bit of a botch there from the side of Lockheed. Wait, did he do it again? Now going out to try to start this defuse. The push forward, something needing to win the fight versus Karen, but he can't get it. Nicely done, pistol each. Gen G Even. will tie up the pistol round count and now move up by three. As much as Lackia I mean, didn't have the best util at the end there with the recon over, that went too Ryan, far and the shock dart that hit the wall and then maybe the second shock dart that hit the wall as well, um, he actually level, played the, the situation with it like very well. From Gen G. If, if we ignore the util, like him just staying alive was well, uh, really good. All that utility, all the way up through mid, you send the zero point, you send the drone, really selling that you want to go for a B pinch. And then it's just the forces the recon? barreling through. Oh, really? Lane. I thought the recon was too far. Uh, then I take right that back. It. And just the shock. Nothing more than that. I thought I thought I saw it out of the map. Oh, oh okay. But then the recon was great. We saw them, you know, going for that force buy, which is uncharacteristic of Paper X overall yesterday, and finding great success with it. This time, just going to be sticking with these classics. One sheriff in the hands of Mind Freak. And this is this is a We've nice five people right? stack B. That they often like to use for a retake on to Gen Genji doing something that and defender spawn. <laughs> Paper X could have benefited from in terms of just a, a nice pinch. holding just default. Tower it goes in, no Meteor, now. just a ghost here. Doesn't down. matter if he goes down. Did great as well. So two more can just kind of relay, and they need to find out where one person is. That's why they're looking around. They didn't see everyone. And they only pick up the ghost. So. Now Spike can get planted. Down. Uh, if it wasn't for the Sheriff and the Ghost, Spike you have to planted. imagine this is one of those routes where you just call for the save right away, go down to the Spike, but they're not even in a good position to do that. Looks like they will try to wait for it. 
He's trying to pick off some early kills, trying to bait them out with the audio. Seems like Genji just have such a strong read on it. Zero point to go check towards heaven. Now Munchkin. Yep. He's going to be spotting over towards and the trees. They reopen the door. The question of who gets nothing. the kills. Very much assessing it. Everybody's going to be on this side of the map. Mind Freak will be able to take nice. one more down with him. Nice from Texture. Try Can he get the guns over to Munchkin? Damn, that was nice. Juggling. He wasn't paying attention there, but... Well, I mean... This esports thing doesn't work out, Texture. You can join the circus. Fantastic juggling. <laughs> it's things like that where you start to notice that Gen G's really in it for the victory. They really want to get this first title in 2024 because little things like that could make or break the snowball towards a map win. But this is, you know, the right way. It, it has to be the turning point, it feels like, here for Paper Rex. Coming into the bonus. The stake can get to the Still Odin so out. Much firepower available to Gen G, but Odin now. Brought into the fold they by go Forsaken aggro the over towards B, of course Gen they do. It's Vapor X, and they go aggro over towards A. It's lovely. Man. That's gonna hurt a lot. The they went a down. little bit later no after the knife had worn members. off from Munyet, so he could so you know nade that, that, that corner. Like be that would have been, going back to try to just that would have been the round, or at least a lot of kills. But instead, they just tank a lot of damage. activates the turret and now returns. Uh, he was hit by the knife, he couldn't nade. Yeah, peeking back out, smoke comes down. Gen G just gonna be cutting noise and starting to drift away. Wingman not spotting anything. Potentially it had like a here. second Over left as well, they just need to delay it a little bit. Risk, now it certainly is one. Let's see if he's wise to this. A little wary of the catwalk push, but not quite down on the grass. Oh, the timing jumps away. Munchkin's gonna try to solve fake. On to B once again. He's gonna do his damnedest. Moniette in position here. Just waiting a little bit more. Just He's cutting off the down. backup should be enough here for Munchkin. Oh, he hears a rotate and he calls for them to go to B. What a brilliant call. Swings out, but he's not ready for Mind Freak. Good luck to Mind Freak. Keep, 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 keep an eye on the time if he somehow kills the spike. Yeah, patience from him. Yeah, <laughs> look at him, he's torn. Oh, what? My God. The IGL. He's going to come up with three. Something getting ready to join in, pushing his way in through market texture on his lonesome. Try to clutch it out. Swing up the corner, he gets the headshot. They knew where Mind Freak was. Can he read where he is now? Push down, Damn. texture has it. They're, they're the so wrecked. 2,900, they're all sitting around 3,100. This is Big beautiful. 1B2. This is yeah. beautiful from Gen G. You have an incredible call from your IGL who puts himself at risk to not only sell the fake, but you are still looking at the clock to say that we have time to rotate if I hear them starting to flood back to the A side. Then a brilliant triple kill. That shot is outrageous, by the way. On a bonus. I, this is everything you can hope for. If Gen G doesn't close this map out, I think <laughs> these players have plenty to be upset about because this should pretty much spell the end of it. Oh, for sure. I mean, Munchkin's beautifully serving that one up. Once again, just... The OW shot, yeah, he, he tracked him like the whole way, right? Now is texture something able to find the headshot with the sheriff? Backs his way out, meteor. Same time, over catching mind freak on that lurk forward out of B main. Taken as well. He's trying to push this. He does have a bulldog and meteor at 11 HP. Severely disadvantaged here. Yeah, 11 HP. You're gonna back away. Gonna probably just take a risk on this one. He's a little bit wild to give him a gun, but he's not pushing too much. Sat outside of Gelato, and this time Monyet not going to be able to win the fight right around that old orb. Yeah, they should be able to go over to B. Meteor heard the exit from B main. You got the kill in mid as well, so you know that Forsaken was pretty pressured on the B side. Great timing from Dubai, swinging out right before that ping would come down. Catches Lakia completely off guard. Finds the punish, keeps things close, as well as recovering a weapon. Caron be wise to just tuck in somewhere, make sure that you can cut off the backup, maybe get some info. They're a little yeah. scared because Meteor is yeah. so low. They have no <laughs> idea about Tying. Dubai has a very good timing. Turret, though, is gonna... Find a quick pick on the Meteor would bring it into a 1v2. He still holds on to a Paranoia as well as one TP. But he's, 
He smokes off B. Like, his smoke is behind this. He's trying to smoke off B main to fake that he's coming from somewhere else. To try and get one of them to push in. I love that Munchkin enters that smoke right away. He doesn't want to take any risks. Flash into the back, but now they're very well aware of his position. The swing out. Meteor does remain standing at the end of it. 11 HP and 11 round wins. Chen Chi, two away from taking their map pick of Ascent in dominant fashion. And a, finally, an operator comes online for Paper X, but it just might be too late. What Gen G's been doing here is really just shutting down the possible compositional advantages that Paper X is looking for. I mean, they have so many ways where they could really initiate this attrition of all that utility. They <laughs> want and, <laughs> and they just have, I mean, Gen G just has the counters to it. Obviously. This composition, the classic composition I said, it's good Bring for back a reason. their own fast traps. Yeah, and it's doing it back no to them. And this time they pick the most perfect him. side. They get straight in. The snake bite, now the free entry coming Mind Freak through. doesn't like, even we'll have time planted. to use his ult. And as Meteor plants, the this, K ult pops. Everyone gets over towards <laughs> but three people site, two people B main. They still have Machia's drone. He has an Odin as well. Over towards B main, Killjoy ult goes in. Like they're screwed, right? Have to try to the wall, the wall definitely helps him break this. Yeah, but he's just trading the ult. Like, you take that all day. Look at him. Oh man, they're feeling it. Takes him down, draws up the weapon, but Karen's already claimed the kill. Chen G. Now at Matt. They're feeling it. I mean, texture pretty much. He's the op and just absolutely sends it. Seven chances. And they lost the and they lost a the fast pistol. My the slaughter. Gosh. And I think one of the things that might be, I mean, sure, they face e against each other in Group Z, but one thing that really is keeping Paper X scratching their head is. You just haven't seen a Korean squad play for contact like this. Yeah, no. Yeah, they just greed for these duels, and they're not backing away from it. The confidence right now is just something that is so dangerous that Paper X has to deal with. Yeah, nice. Breaking the confidence of Gen G has proven nice to be bit of map control of that one there, but every single team that is trying to get the last all online, try and get all five of them. Oh, they will push. Just, wow, they want to send a message. Mid. Try to take down this pit. Jump spot, only spot one. Yeah, they didn't spot the other guy's cars. <laughs> this flash as well. Bike down as well. Extra kills. Mind freak outside of his ult. Ult to pick up the spike. Meteor still gets the kill. And that is it done. And that was a slaughter. Fair play. They look really good on this one. Yeah, Paper X misplayed most of their attack play. side for sure. But Gen G. They, they look together and they're all fragging heavy. Where Paper X 